Welcome back, Fair Maiden, and welcome to Wednesday. Sunny and childlike today for the virgins. The moon is still in Capricorn, an earth sign just like you, and emotionally putting focus on your inner child. So today, if you're not feeling happy, if you're not feeling creative, if you're not feeling romantic, your inner child ain't happy. Or maybe you're smothering your inner child. Those are both issues that are going on for Virgos right now. But the real hot topic deals mostly with your ego, getting over ego issues. Virgos have been badly damaged in this lifetime. That is always the case. You can't be the healer unless you get damaged and you heal yourself. It's part of the process of the healer, part of the story of the healer. But the good news is you are healing right now, even though it may not look like it from empirical evidence. Between now and the beginning of January 2010, Virgos are pouring the foundation of a new ego. And by ego, that's how the world sees you, how the world is allowed to treat you, your defense mechanisms, your groovy hairstyle, your wardrobe, the way you put yourself out there. Your ego is what's in the way. And the universe right now is also giving an additional clue to Virgos to kind of help you past your ego issues. In the next week, you're going to be stepping into some betas of the new Virgo 2.0. I'm not saying it's going to work. I'm not saying it's not going to have some bugs. But you're going to start to step into a beta version of the new you. And with Uranus opposing the sun for the next week, it gives me a strong clue on how to do this. Uranus is in Pisces, in the house of marriage, in the house of relationships. I know a lot of Virgos out there that think they can fix themselves by finding the perfect woman or finding the perfect man. The answer is, hell no, you are absolutely wrong. In fact, Uranus in the house of marriage means that in order to move ahead with your new ego, you're going to have to just jump up and forgive and have a leap of faith that the marriage part is going to work out. Do not put any focus on the marriages or the relationships or even the marriage you're in right now. You're going to have to have a leap of faith. Because once that ego really is changed, everything in your marriages and the way you approach marriages will change as well. But you've got to start with your ego in order to draw on the right relationship or correct the relationship you're in. So leap of faith in marriage leads to a, a brighter, shinier, easier, fleet, more free-going ego. Not one that can speak well, though. <laughs> all right, Virgo, that's all I have for the day. I'll see you tomorrow with more. If love be. So God.